Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna review the Hansa Film Emulation plugin, but this time for Lightroom. You can also use it for Adobe Photoshop, Capture One and Affinity. I have two different photos just to show you how the Hansa behaves in different lighting situations. To edit photos in the Hansa, right click on the photos, go to Edit In and choose Edit in the Hansa plugin. A new window will show up with the Hansa plugin. It has a really simple and easy to use interface, with all the presets on the left and adjustments on the right side. It has 24 film emulations you can choose from. Let's find a nice film look for this photo. This one looks nice, but maybe something with more color. I think Fuji Eterna looks great for this scene. Now let's adjust it to look even better. First thing we have is the source. It's basically adjusting the exposure and color temperature. Next is the film developer. You can balance the photos with these settings. Let's bring the contrast booster lower, to have some more information in the shadows, and maybe gamma correction as well, and a bit more color boost. Ok, so next is film compression. It's kind of similar to dynamic range, so let's zoom in and see how this affects the highlights. I'll max out the impact and slide the white point to better see the results. It basically helps to retain more information in the highlights. I think that's too much, so I'll bring the impact down and find a sweet spot. Ok, so maybe more color density as well. Next is expand, you can change the blacks and whites. I'll leave it close to default settings here. In print section you can make the film look to be more pronounced. You also have a few profiles you can choose from. I think Fujifilm 3513 looks the best with this photo. You can adjust exposure and other settings here as well. In color head, you can fine tune the colors in the shadows, midtones, and highlights areas. I like with a more greenish look, so let's zoom in and see how the color in highlights is changing. This is really cool and powerful tool to get a real film look to your digital images. Below is the film grain. I always use positive profile for the grain, it's just not so grainy like negative film. A bit of grain for this picture will look great. Next is highlation, a great tool to bring the look even closer to film. It has a mask tool, so you can check on which parts of the image the highlighting will show up. This is kinda too strong for my taste, so I'll bring down the impact. Also less amplify. Yeah, this looks better. And of course the bloom effect. It adds a glow around the highlights area. In our case, this slides here. For this photo, I'll bring the impact all the way up. You can see here how the bloom affects the highlights. It gives a nice and soft glow. This is on and off. Now let's check it before and after. You can see how easy it is to make your photo look like it was shot on film. 
Now let's press OK and you can make further adjustments in Lightroom. I'll just fast forward here. On the left is the one straight from the Hanser and on the right is final with small adjustments in Lightroom. Ok, so now I'll quick edit a portrait I took many years ago with a Canon 5D Mark II. We'll see how the Hanser is managing skin tones. I'll fast forward because you already saw how the Hanser works. As you can see it looks so much better. And if you want to further edit, you can continue adjusting things in Lightroom. Let's do that and compare the final results. Let's check the original and the final version. As you can see, the handset gives you a great grading base with film emulation, and you can finalize it in Lightroom. Or you can use the handset for the final grading. Ok guys, thanks for watching, and I hope this review helped you to make a choice of using the handset or not. See you in the next one.